Around the world, millions of people still lack access to financial products and services, and they remain invisible to the formal financial sector. This has negative implications for the economic security and stability of the world's poor. They cannot access the financing needed to build themselves up and to better build lives for themselves and their children. Kuna mambo mengine ambayo huwezi kuyatamani. Pengine yanaweza kuwa ni shida sana kukifikia. Mm. Lakini sasa watoto wafanya kazi nyingine ya kwenda kwa kwenda ije kujitafutia ije mm. na kufanya kazi. Lakini kwangu mimi mwenyewe mm. challenge kubwa sana ni pesa mm. ya kujimundu nikae ndani ya boma. To tackle the difficult problem of financial inclusion, Grameen Foundation's App Lab Money combines user-centered design principles with scalable business practices to design innovative solutions. The approach to design ensures that the end user's desires, unique abilities, and needs are integrated into the design of the product. The key aim of the AppLab Money initiative is to develop and scale innovative financial products which are designed for low-income clients and have commercial returns for our strategic partners. So with AppLab Money, we're really designing for two customers. There's the low-income end user, where we're designing a product that will meet their financial needs. And then we're also designing for an implementation partner. In our case, it's a financial institution or bank that is scaling very rapidly, but needs support in designing products that will meet the needs of the low-income base of the pyramid customers. Grameen Foundation created the Solutions Innovation Process to test and scale the next generation of product and channel innovations that reach mass market with commercial benefits for scaling partners and social benefits for poor users. The user is at the center of this process. Design isn't only about the user. I mean, to form a compelling argument for any change, it can't all be about the user. Um, it's more about finding the, the sweet spot, that ideal balance between desirability, viability and possibility. And what we mean by that is what is desirable from a user perspective, but also what is viable from a business perspective and what is possible from a technical perspective. Grameen Foundation always works closely with scaling partners to get their products to market. To understand the needs of the scaling partner, the solutions innovation process usually starts with a kickoff and planning phase, during which the App Lab Money team and scaling partner meet to plan the project, understand goals and requirements, and align on key milestones. The output of this phase is usually a direction statement or a strategic direction for the innovation process. This helps the scaling partner to define who they want to target and what types of solutions they hope to create. The statement usually comes from an identification of the types of problems that an organization hopes to solve. After the direction for the innovation project is set and the needs of the scaling partner are understood, the team usually heads to the field to better understand the poor customer. Uh, for example, when you went to the field, you realized that one of the major needs of farmers is uh, school fees for their children. So what happened is that majority of farmers were diverting most of their funds, or most of the um, money they were getting from the farm, and they were putting it into the school fees. So uh, we understand their needs, their values, their motivation, their fears, and it's about really understanding how, how these things impact on the final product. So we talk to uh, fewer people, but spend more time with them. And then at the end of this process, we are able to design products that meet these needs and uh, products that they can use effectively. Mm. Education, <laughs> 
The large amounts of data collected from the field research are synthesized to provide insights, opportunities, and design implications. The project team then generates solution ideas in a collaborative session using various tools to stimulate thinking. So ideation is that point where we take what we've learned about our user needs, their goals and their drivers and we use that to generate and formulate ideas that address their needs um, as best we can. Some of the key things we tell people when ideating is to first defer judgement and entertain as much openness as they can. Second, to get radical and explore the absurd. Third, to go for quantity to multiply your options. And fourth, to mash up the old with the new, yours and theirs. Ideation sessions usually combine not only insights from the field, but also those generated when the team analyzes an organization's internal data on uptake and usage of existing products. This provides insights into what features could be integrated into future products and what did not work. So after developing our initial product ideas derived from our field insights, we developed product concepts. And so during concept development, we outlined the user's intended experience of a product. We do that through storyboarding, using imagery, and by highlighting key elements and features of the product and user experience. We take the concepts out into the field and get feedback on its design. We use this feedback to help us refine the concepts further and see which concepts work and which concepts don't. Also during concept development, we design the business strategy which addresses the value proposition, financial viability of the product, customer service delivery channels and other business requirements. As the concept is being tested in the field, the team also works with the scaling partner to develop a strong business model for the product. The model ensures that the product is affordable for the poor user and makes commercial sense to the scaling partner. The team then works closely with the scaling partner to get the product to market. This includes undertaking more sophisticated testing in a live environment or setting up a pilot. When necessary, it also includes testing the technical functionality of the product, especially when it is offered on the mobile channel. These last phases of work are the most time-consuming and difficult because they require a lot of planning. But the effort is worth it as new solutions hit the market, which offer poor users new opportunities to build their credit histories, improve their financial visibility, and build better lives for themselves and their children. It is only through new thinking, brave approaches, and rigor in process that breakthrough solutions will hit the market. Grameen Foundation hopes to be at the forefront of this effort and solve the financial inclusion problem by design.